Hey everybody, Matumbo here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are finally back playing some more historic here on Magic Arena. And again, uh, just want to let everybody know, you know, we had some crazy weather here in Texas. We were without power for a few days. Um, we're still actually without water. It's been a week. Um, but yeah, we finally had the time today, um, even though we're still super busy with work, to uh, throw together a video. And uh, yeah, I'm actually pretty excited. We've been playing this deck uh, off and on. We built it like right before the crazy weather started happening. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it. So real quick though, before we hop into today's deck, as always, just want to remind everybody, if you enjoy the channel, enjoy the video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified and check out all those cool links down below. With that being said, let's just hop right into it. We are playing Maskwood Muxus. And yeah, you may see Muxus and say, oh great, a Muxus deck. But no, this is not a goblin deck. Yes, there are goblins in this deck, but they are very few. We are not doing any of the unfair goblin stuff, but we are doing the unfair lord plan. So let's just hit on these two cards. Uh, first off is Muxus. Muxus, the goblin grandee, six mana, four, four. When it enters the battlefield, reveal the top six cards of your library. Put all goblin creature cards with converted mana cost five or less from among them onto the battlefield. Uh, and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Whenever it attacks, it gets plus one plus one for each other goblin you control. Well, looking at our deck here, we only have one other goblin in our deck, and that's Goblin Chieftain. Three mana, two, two with haste. Give all our other goblin creatures plus one plus one. So why would I want to be playing Goblin, uh, Muxus Goblin Grandee with only Goblin Chieftain in our deck? Well... The answer to that is the other namesake card of our deck, Maskwood Nexus. This cool card from Kaldheim is going to make this deck seem a little unfair um, if our opponent really can't interact with it. It is a four mana artifact. It says creatures you control are every creature type. The same is true for creature spells you control and creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. And then for three mana, we can make a two two uh, blue shapeshifter creature token with changeling. So, <laughs> Basically, every creature now with this in play, uh, every creature that we have in our deck, in play, in our hands, on the stack, everywhere, is every creature type, which includes goblins. So with Maskwood Nexus in play, we cast Muxus, we're going to reveal cards, and we are playing all creatures except for three copies of Anger of the Gods, and these are just really a backup plan just in case we need them. But we're going to hit a bunch of potential just goblins in our deck even though they're not goblins but they um we are playing all lords so every creature in our deck has a lord effect and the lord effect is a creature that basically says other creatures of that type get plus one plus one and then some of them you know usually they have another ability built into them but this again we're focusing on all of our creatures are going to be pumping all of our other creatures because with masquid nexus they are all elves because this gives all other elves you control plus one plus one. This gives all other satyrs we control plus one plus one and, and haste. Uh, Goblin Chieftain gives all of our goblins plus one plus one in haste. Um, this Rage Blood Shaman gives our Minotaur creatures plus one plus one and trample. Uh, Feline Sovereign gives all of our cats plus one plus one and protection from dogs and lets us kill uh, artifacts or enchantments. Uh, Imperious Perfects uh, gives our elves plus one plus one. And we can make other elf tokens with it. And finally, Elvish Arch Druid gives all of our elves plus one plus one. And then on top of it, makes green mana for each elf we control. So this is gonna cut that'll come to play later on. Potentially just let us do some unfair things. But again, I mean, this is this is just really the deck. We are just trying to uh really just curve out. I mean, nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, obviously, this deck is very susceptible to removal as we're not really playing much interaction. Uh, again, the only removal we're playing are Anger of the Gods. Not not really a combo in our deck because this could potentially just wipe our board. But again, we've been playing this deck enough uh over the course of the past couple of weeks. Uh and it just it's been working out. You know, we've we played a few different versions. Um we originally built a Boros version that played uh like pack leader and you know stuff that gives dwarves plus one plus one or knights plus one plus one um but i really like the synergy with the elves uh specifically the elvish arch druid being able to give mana this actually does help us ramp uh in order to get ma um, masquid nexus and muxus down a little bit faster and overall i think this deck actually 
is a lot of fun. It's not competitive. Um, now we did play it. Like I said, it, it's been going a couple weeks. We we just play a game here and there because we haven't had really much time to grind with it, and that's really why I haven't put this video out. And then all the crazy weather happened. But I would say we've been winning slightly more than what we've been losing with it. So uh, yeah, this is this is a deck for fun, not for competitiveness. But this deck has beat some pretty good decks because it just unexpectedly wins with a Muxus. And you're just like, oh, I didn't didn't know Muxus was about to happen. So because the good thing about this is, again, even if they're wiping your board, if they can't get a Maskwood Nexus down, then this deck essentially just becomes what everybody hates about Historic. And that's, well, not, not everything about Historic, but Muxus specifically. Because Muxus in itself can just win the game if you hit a Haster and you hit enough creatures. And then on top of that, we're hitting enough Lord effects to where all of our other creatures are pumping all of our other creatures. So again, if they're killing all of our creatures and Maskwood Nexus stays in play, we can just tap out play a Muxus and then just get really lucky and kill our opponent that way because we'll just, we could potentially give all of our creatures haste with either one of these, trample with these, and then again, plus one, plus one with all of the other creatures. So if we hit, you know, four or five or six of those, it's pretty much going to be a game ending swing again, just by casting Muxus. And again, that's what mono red goblins does. Um, they try to get haste and then try to make a bunch of goblin tokens. So yeah so that's what this deck is and we're gonna give it a lot of we're gonna give it uh we're gonna give it some games i'm gonna have a lot of fun with it again um i'm really excited so yeah um let's just hop into the gameplay and again uh, i do want to apologize that it's been such a crazy hiatus uh work's getting really really busy um and again the crazy weather is still we're still recovering from that so i have to just find time when i can to play magic so but yeah, let's hop into the gameplay. We'll talk to you guys here pretty soon with the wrap-up. All right, guys, we're back. Figure we got to make at least a video today. So let's see... Do we get to potentially Muxus first time back? We're going to keep. We have some two drops. We have a Maskwood Nexus. All right. We're going to play this down first. Let them potentially shock, but they don't have a shock. So... Good news. Oh, is it? Interesting. All right, let's show them the uh, the old cat elf lord deck that we're playing. I mean, I feel like they're just also on a is it goblin plan over there. Yep. Naban? Is Muxus a wizard? Is I'm afraid. Um, let's find out. No, he's a noble. So I think. As much as I don't want to, I think we have to kill their board. Uh, let's see. Let's see what they do here. Yeah, so that that is gonna make me feel like they're incentivized to try to cast something big next turn. All right, so we're gonna anger here. What a nombo with our deck, right? Whoa, they're do. Oh my god. Oh yeah, well. We have that too. Oh, 
when you know they have it next turn. And you know they have it next turn. So I could make a I could make a creature. But I'm gonna save that creature for the potential block. I feel like we're just gonna get muxist here. <laughs> People So fun thing about this deck, right? I've been playing this deck. Um for quite some time, like a quite a few days. Oh, no attack, huh? All right, let's draw land. Let's show them what our deck can do. Perfect. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yes. So we are going to... Tap for six. Tap. Make a creature. To make a creature. Make a creature. And we're going to get in. Yeah. Make block four and take 10 but then they die and they have nothing in play so but yeah like we were saying we actually have been playing this deck um for a few days now and i've actually been playing different color iterations of it uh had a boros version of this had a naya version of this now we're playing just a gruel version so some people have actually seen this deck so i'm not surprised seeing a different variation of it but again uh maskwood nexus is a pretty fun card to build around so but yeah great great first game let's get into game number two all right well jinx jumped up here right before we hit start pretty stoked about that got some jinx time don't jump down you just got here but let's hydrate oh she's gonna go or she's gonna walk around the desk while we hydrate Yeah. What are you doing? Where are you going? This is an all right hand potentially. You gonna come back? Come on. Do your do a lap around the desk. We're gonna keep this. Should probably be a mulligan, but oh, uh, are they just on the? It's on the combo plan. Really? Don't Tabalt's trickery us. Oh, they're not going to. Alright, so they're just gonna play oh they didn't they didn't have a land there. Interesting. Okay. I'll take that all day. He's a mind tome. All right, we're gonna play the uh, Arch Druid again because this is gonna give us some mana. They're gonna scry up some goodness or away some badness. Oh, they kept it. I bet it's a land. Probably see them playing a land right here. Ooh. Big chin scratches. Mm -hmm. What is what is this guy? No blocks. All right, so we have access to access to a little bit of mana here, right? So we can. We play this down. This will give us two mana with the Arch Druid, three mana. All 
I prom I promise we're not just playing elves, right? It may look that way. But we're not. Remember, we're just trying to get more mana on the board in order to really just do more busted things with the uh, Maskwood Nexus and the other lords that we have. Interesting. I mean, I'm just going to take it again. Yep. All right, so. If we do this, then we still only have three mana. And I don't hate that. Yeah, so this is probably pretty good. Oh, Jinx. Oh. So this is going to allow us to kill both of his... Oh, it's just a one. I misread that. Destroy up to one. I would have killed that instead. That was a misplay on my part. Well, still pretty... I feel like it's a pretty easy victory. Opponent was on more of a budget build. I'm sure their collection wasn't uh, up to par. They, they were playing some cards that we haven't really seen played. This Berserker as well as Aggressive Urge and stuff like that. So, well, good game. Nice game. All right. <clears throat> On to game three. Did not expect to be 2-0 with this deck. We, I, f I felt like when we played this, um, you know, for fun for the last couple days, we, we were a little bit better than 50%. Some of the builds were obviously better than others. But I'm, I'm really glad that I settled on the rule version. I feel like there's just better better synergies, especially with the elves. I really wanted to do a crazy like five color build just for just for the memes. So we're going to play this because we drew it. I'd much rather them go after this. Because um, if they start going after our creatures, we can anger the gods. Interesting. So maybe... Yeah, I think we're just going to attack here. Let them have their pick. I mean, it's, it's, it's three for three. We get a creature off the board. We still have this. That's probably something that we want to get rid of. foretell interesting I wonder what that is maybe is that a doom scar I don't really see an aggressive deck like that playing doom scar could be but it's pretty good two Okay, so next turn they all get bigger. These have vigilance, yeah, they do. They do have vigilance.
I wonder what the play is here. Okay. Definitely get to keep them off of lifelink and wow. I don't know why they would concede there. They were going to at least be able to hit us for eight next turn minimum to put us to three. Maybe they meant to block. Well, our president not sure is not sure of his future turn. So, all right, I'll take it. Let's go. Yeah. Um, okay. Pretty unbelievable there. But we're potentially... I mean, we're 3-0. We're running a streak. Again, when we played this, <laughs> we've been 50-50. Well, I would say 55-45. Maybe 60-40 at the best. But I don't even think it's been that. Uh oh. What are you doing over there? I hate seeing multiple mulligans because I just always assume that they're on Tabalt's Trickery or something crazy. Elves, because they're... Alright. They got the guy's Cradle Sleeve, so they're on Elves. They just didn't have a land world. I mean, in reality, I just want to draw. I just want to draw land. That's all I want. And they just they just cocoed into uh, one elf. That's good for us. But we're we're mana screwed right now. Yeah, let's just go. Here. All right, again. We need land. Yeah, it's kind of brutal. Kind of brutal here. It's pretty brutal. Because that Marwin's going to live, right? Going to be a 4-4. Four -four. We get everything else except for that. That's probably going to be enough to kill us. All because we can't draw land. I feel like we were definitely on the path to victory here. Seven, yep, yep. Wow. Must be nice. So we're dead next turn. Ten plus a million. Alright, well. If we literally would not have drawn back to back. Yep. You got us. 
Ashen Lanor. You got us, my friend. Ah, we lost one. No. No. Yeah, we just had bad draws there, no land. Alright, let's go. Alright, now. Jinx, you're back. You're back for some more magics. You're just gonna chill while I play? I bet you don't last this whole game up here. I bet you don't last this whole game up here. I got a mulligan. I got a mulligan. All right, we're gonna keep. Gonna get rid of that. The good news is <clears throat> we get to go first. So we get to Galia into Feline Sovereign into Gorilla, or not Gorilla, but Goblin Chieftain. <clears throat> so well, let's see what happens. Oh, it's a mutate deck. Let's go. Go easy on us, mutate. Go easy on us. Oh. You can give us nibbles? All right, don't hate seeing an explore here. Okay, well. I mean, I definitely want to get in. I really would have liked to have drawn a land there. I really would have liked to have drawn a land there. All right, Jinx. Now they're going to go mutate crazy here. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. <clears throat> Let's see. What are we hitting? Okay. Only a land. Bring it in. No? Yeah. So, yep. All right, well, we get to mask with Nexus next turn. Stuff gets bigger. That's a big one. So if I play this, doing some math here. Everything's got haste, right? Everything's got haste. This gets us cards though. It's not lethal. Three, four, gosh. Two mana left over. If we had three mana left over, we'd be fine. This is lethal though, so. We didn't even need Muxus. Good game. Exaxes. Exaxes. <clears throat> I was hoping I was kind of hoping for overkill there, but hey, this card is good. Play all the lords, right? That's the game. Mm. 
All right, let's go. Joker. Uh, we go first. Yeah, we'll keep. We've got the elf crew. Need land. Need nexus, need muxus. Why? Why are they playing that card? Blue white, huh? Sure. Blue white life gain? Why? Why are you playing blue white life gain? Gonna see a Dovin. Oh, you don't you don't want to attack? Let me give you all the life. Give you all the life, we're going to play all the lords. What is your deck, my friend? I mean, you're probably wondering the same thing about our deck. We get to go get an elf, make an elf. Okay. See, they block three of them. They take 10, they go to 16, it's not enough. Go for it. Next turn. I really just have to be worried about a Coco or a Settler Wreckage. Huh. All right, that's pretty good too. trying to go wide here right so four blockers they block all sixes and then they take 17 not enough
Yeah, I mean, we're... We're looking to take a lot of damage in the air. And maybe we should have done something in response to that. I still think they have a Coco. Okay, maybe not. I want to put it on the Rolesque. Really? Hmm. That was a misclick. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. They block six. They take 23. Not good enough. Which is going to get to the point where they're going to be able to kill us with these flyers. Yep, and they're just getting more and more blockers, which they should be able to attack now. You just swing for eight here. I don't know what they're doing. Yep. I mean, it's going to get to the point where we're just going to have to hope here in a second. And again, I don't think I don't think we're winning this game. I got some big boys. Oh. Oops. All right, we just we just need to draw a nexus. Sure. Yeah. They're just playing good synergies and we're playing let's rely on drawing one card in our deck. Yep. I mean, all they have to do is really just swing out over the course of two turns.
Come on, deck. One time. You know, even if we mux this, we're not trying to necessarily... What is your deck? We're just trying to get in enough lords to pump our guys. The land fights for us. Evolu uh, land here with the evolution sage, yep. Pretty good. Yep, just get in with your flyers. You would have put your counters on your flyers. You would have you would have had a lethal this turn. So this is our last turn. All right, deck. One time. We're just gonna, if we draw it, we're just gonna put it into play and hope for the best. Oh, oh my God, we drew it. Oh man. Uh, I wish we had one more red. It's our fault for playing that like that. How many? Yep. How many are we hitting? Keep that one. Yeah, you're gonna gain a whole bunch of life. So much life. I don't I, I don't think we have enough. Eleven. Four, five, six. Oh. Yellow swing. Math is for blockers, right? We've got some trample. I just don't think we have enough. Maybe we do. I think I think we might get there. I don't know. This is going to be really close. I think... All right, cross your fingers. Yes! 
<laughs> we... <laughs> oh my gosh. They should have killed us that last turn. Oh my gosh. So much trample. I didn't realize it was that much damage, but the trample. Ooh, that was a sweet game. We got one more for the final boss. Let's go. All right, final boss time. Final boss time. All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? Not playing this on turn two. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. Now we're going to lead with this. Maybe we draw a forest or a shock land. All right, deck. I mean, I'll, I'll count that. Alan Chieftain Nexus. Okay. You get four spiked here? No. Go. <laughs> okay. Well, this was overwhelming. I mean, they play the Mind Stone here. <laughs> I think Nexus is a safe play. Oh, did you tap your mana wrong? You needed two blue, didn't you? Tell. Let's go ahead and get this down. No, we didn't draw any land. It's unfortunate. I would have loved to have drawn a land. But I feel like you probably just foretold a Doom Scar. Oh no, you just cast a Doom Scar? Okay. So again, no land. We just flat out cast a Doom Scar. We can figure a think back. Is it the six? So Chieftain kills that. I'm okay with that. Still not a land. This is going to put them into a uh, Let's Doom Scar again. Yep. We definitely knew they had that there, right? Counterspell? Sure thing. You make three ones, I make three threes. And then what if they just tap out here for... For something. Okay. I mean, that's their play, huh? I 
And they didn't attack, huh? Let's go. This is a tough spot. Um, thank you. Did I make this? I think it's better to keep this in my deck to hit it potentially with this. That might be wrong. So they have to discard three cards. What a weird card for somebody to be playing. Right? Can we just go for it? Well, we only hit one. Good game. We literally only hit one creature, but it was worth it. They tapped out. We got him. Wow. Wow. And it was one of our hasters, too. Wow. That was pretty close. Oh, well, I'm super stoked with that. So let's talk about this deck. All right, everybody, welcome back to the wrap up. And that was a lot of fun. We actually um, went six and one in our games that we sh that we showed. Um, there were two other games that we actually uh, got paired up against uh, while we were filming, but the games actually didn't play out because I'm assuming that they were both Tibalt's trickery decks because, I mean, they just mulliganed a whole bunch and then sat there and then one conceded immediately after he essentially mulliganed six or seven times and then the other one mulliganed six, you know, six or seven times and then just roped. So no reason to show those. So I would say overall we were six and one. Um, really good showing. Now we were going to just play through and not, edit any games out um but luckily we went on a good run um i really did think i was gonna have to edit out a whole bunch of losses um and i had honestly i had planned on that and but it didn't happen so i went back i re-recorded the uh the intro and yeah six and one pretty good showing i'm not even gonna count the other ones because you know if they would have it's a coin flip when you run into tibalt's trickery so you know they're either gonna win on turn two or they're going to lose on turn two or before it so the games aren't fun i'm still surprised they didn't actually ban that card because again it just doesn't make it makes magic arena not fun so uh yeah and it's pretty crazy that we ran into somebody playing a mask with nexus deck using muxus I'm, I'm assuming they were playing muxus and other goblins uh but an is it version so you know wizards and everything in game one that was that was pretty crazy but uh yeah i really like i really like this deck again we played a boros version we played a naya version and i'm really liking this version best just because again the elvish arch druids i feel like make this put this deck over the top just a little bit um, more than the other ones do but again the other the boros version having pack leader in the deck really did help some games because you just get to attack and even though you may not be attacking for a bunch sometimes being able to just swing in and not worry about your creatures dying if you have the mass with nexus in play it um just hitting them you know for three or four a turn sometimes is just enough so uh pretty pretty cool but yeah it's been a while since uh of course it's been a while since i put out a video I feel like i'm a, a little rusty uh with what to talk about and whatnot but hopefully you enjoy this video uh, again if you enjoy the video and the channel please 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 like comment subscribe check out all the cool links down below the patreon link the discord link the twitch link I'm going to try to find some time to uh, stream sometime soon. Uh, I would really love it if you join the Discord. We're going to try to have a game night every Saturday night playing different games, um, whether it be uh, Among Us or um, just any other game that we can actually get people to join. Uh, multiplayer, obviously. We want, to have as many, we want to be able to accommodate as many people as possible. So uh, that is what 
I'm going for. So would love to have you. So please join the Discord for more information there. So again, thanks so much for watching. Again, I hope everybody's staying safe. And again, I'm sorry it's been so long between videos. Still, like I said, recovering from crazy weather. And so, but I really just hope everybody out there is staying safe. So, but yeah, stay safe, everybody. We'll see you next time. Remember, this channel would not exist without such amazing viewers and subscribers. Thank you so much for interacting with the channel and helping grow the community. And a very big special thank you to the Patreons listed here for supporting the channel. Thank <laughs> you.